Hey Jason, <clears throat> I wanted to give you a little bit of a uh, quick overview of the app Metafields Manager for uh, your app developer. And I think we talked about mainly about the recipe situation the other day. Um, so I want to just run you through how this whole thing is going to work. Let's see here. All right, so let's take a look at the sample recipe, chicken fajita. This is in the recipes list of the blog uh, post. And you can see right now that serves, prep, and cook is empty. Also, you'll see that uh, there's nothing over here. I'm going to show you how to tweak that real quick. Um, so the first thing we want to do is go into recipes and find the chicken fajita. I'm just going to do this. And there's the chicken fajita recipe. Now, first thing I want to do is give this a tag. We want the tag to be chicken. Oh, no, 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 poultry. And then I'm going to add that tag. I'm going to save it. What that should do is give it the it should it's going to give it a it's going to put the little chicken icon right here if this were beef it would have that beef um puts the chicken category here that sort of thing so um so the 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 tag in the recipe post will trigger the chicken icon or the beef or the pork or whatever plus the category here so now let's fill in this information, and that's going to be done via the Metafields Manager. So what we want to do is go to Apps. I'm going to go into Metafields Manager. I'm going to go to Add Metafields, and I want to find the article. So it's going to be chicken fajita. Right there. So really, all I do here is I'm going to have how many people it serves. Let's say it serves two. Prep time 15 minutes. Cook time 20 minutes. Save the changes. And now, if I go out and look at that Metafield Manager, now that information is going to populate. Now, those particular fields are being pulled into the template here. Here are the snippets. Um, so for the article, for the blog post, it's article.metafields and then the global and then the cook. That's the cook time, prep time, serves time. So that's the actual liquid code. And then these are the pieces of code that I've embedded in this, um, this particular template that is pulling those pieces of information from the meta fields. So hopefully that helps. The same exact thing happens on products if we go into beef uh, and then into one of these. Ignore the styling here, that's all sort of under. But <clears throat> we have meta fields here, here, and here that are all going to dictate what information goes there. So. Um, so that's how we're de delivering information into the, uh, the product templates. Let me know if you have any questions.